So Shannon, uh, we've got a completed dome. Talk to me. The last time this was just sitting as leaves on the ground. Uh, it's yeah. been hoisted into place. We laid them flat, put the cap plate in the centre, radiated each leaf off it, lifted it up with the hoist there from the centre of the cap plate. Now it was fully raised, we connected up these cables. Okay, so we've now got some uh, quite nice looking uh, well, connectors to, to relieve the hoop stress in yeah. the dome. These and these um, cables are in the um, we first stuck them up, connected them up, and tightened them with the bulldog hooks here. Okay. And then we can twist this here to just tweak it to get more tension. Okay, out. okay. So that's in the bottom leaf and in the center. The so so the these are commonly seen as shrouds on sailing yachts and that sort of thing, am I right in saying that? Uh, yeah, they can be used on sailing yachts and then they can also be used for balustrades, steel balustrades. Oh, I see, right, okay. Safety, safety cabling and that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. What were, yeah. the, what were the main issues in erecting the dome then? Uh, one of the things we noticed we should have actually chamfered off the edges between the blocks themselves, the wrist work blocks and the um, plywood. Okay. So you get a better contact area between each leaf. Okay, and was that just not calculated right in the first place or what no, was that the... Was just, that was just something we could have done to get a better surface. It was a manufacturing contact. issue kind of thing, yeah, was it? pretty much. Okay. And then it would have been more easier to use do that timber rather than CT4 timber because it would have been more uh, uniform. Okay.